Hey guys, what is going on? Oh, it is mini tough and welcome to another mod installation tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Ray's Rise. I think it's Ray's Minimap. And here you go, I have it right up here. Actually, whoa, you can't even see it. But you can see it, I've got it successfully installed. So I'm going to be showing you how to install this, how to run it. This is the Mac tutorial. There will be a Windows tutorial coming soon. So you can stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and get on with the actual tutorial. So we can actually quit out of Minecraft now and we are going to install the mod. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the link in the description and it will look just like this and it is the raise mod and all you're going to need to do is go down and download the correct version. This is for Minecraft 1.4.6 but if the mod is updated then you can do it for you know the next version 1.4. 5.2 then if this mod is updated for 1.5.2 then you can do it I'm just this is just an example here so if this you know this video is demonstrating for this version but if a newer one is out it's the same process just a different version okay so just go ahead and download the newest version the one you're running right now and then you can go ahead and close that and close that and you should end up with a zip file that is in your downloads folder I've just moved it to my desktop here and I'm going to go ahead and unzip it which should give us a folder and we can delete this zip file because we don't need it anymore and we should be left with this and it only has about three files inside of it and this is actually one of the easiest mods to install so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna navigate to our minecraft folder so to do that you're gonna need to go to a finder window and you're gonna go up here where it says go you're gonna hold down alt at least for me it's alt it might be option for you it's the one right next to the command button and go ahead and press library go into application support and then find your minecraft folder so what I always like to do is I always back this up before I do any mod installation tutorial. So go ahead and copy and then paste this to your desktop. I already have a copy on my second monitor over here, so it's not going to let me do it. But for you, I would just paste it to your desktop. So if anything goes wrong, then you can actually just drag this in and replace the folder and you'll be all good. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to force update my Minecraft. Because right now I have a few mods installed and this mod might not be compatible with those mods. So just go ahead and force update your Minecraft. I know you guys know how to do that. Or if you feel like being lazy, or maybe this isn't even the lazy way, you can delete your bin folder. So I'm in the Minecraft folder. Go in here, find your bin folder, put that in the trash can, trash that thing, and then go ahead and start up Minecraft, and it will automatically download all of the new files, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to be right back, guys, in a few seconds. All right, guys, so I've already force updated my Minecraft, and as you can see, we've magically got a new bin folder right here. So all we're going to do is, this is actually very simple, guys. Go into the bin folder and find your Minecraft.jar, and this is where we're going to add the files that we've downloaded to. So what you're going to need to do is click on it and press Enter, and it, it should allow you to rename. And then at the end of it, so go past the .jar and put .zippity-doo-dah. Well, just dot, dot zip. Okay, don't don't put zippity doo dot. I don't think it will work. If it is, then that would be so cool if that worked. Press enter, and then it should give you, you know, do you want to use this? And it's going to want you to say use dot jar. Don't press use dot zip. And then it should look like a nice little zipper icon here. Just double click that, and then it will turn into a folder. You can delete the dot zip now. And now it should be called minecraft.jar. So because it is still called minecraft.jar, Minecraft is still going to be able to access it like normal. But you can access it like a folder. It's really, really freaking beastly. So now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to need to go in here and find your minimap that you've downloaded and just drag it into the minecraft.jar. Press replace. And that is pretty much it. All we're going to need to do is actually find the meta inf. So all you're going to need to do is type in meta and it should take you there, or you could scroll down until you find it. You're going to need to delete this folder, and you always have to do it. Just do it. Delete that, and you should be all set to go here. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and run Minecraft, and we will see if the mod is successfully installed. All right, guys, we're here in the Minecraft universe, and we are going to go ahead and go into single player, forgotten land, load up a world, and we will see if we got it installed. Boom, there it is. Whoop, there it is. There we go. We got the minimap successfully installed, so now you can do all your shenanigans and see where you are on the map. And you can uh, jump off your cliffs and do whatever you want to do. Parkour your way down and you can s always see where you are. So that's it, guys. That's for this tutorial. And I would like to thank you for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.